Travis Wingood sell. Our opening hymn is by Megadeth, Trust. Closing hymn is by Judas Priest, Breaking the Law. I found out last night why James Huntsman, who is suing the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, left the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And it wasn't because of tithing. That was not his reason for leaving the church. He didn't even know of the corruption of his tithing money when he left. The reason was because the church had lied to us about the manner in which Joseph Smith translated the Book of Mormon using a rock and a hat rather than as portrayed in picture and pushed on us in seminary and institute and church that Joseph Smith looked directly at the plates to dictate to the scribes. And so the church has come out and said, nope, we lied. It was a rock and a hat. Oh, but we've told you all along it was the gift and power of God. And that was the lawyer's defense as uh, the initial talks for settlement had revealed. What was also revealed is that the lawyers for the church also believe that the church is innocent of any and all crimes because of the First Amendment rights. Wow. So, does that mean we the people are able to send death threats without punishment because that's our First Amendment rights? Am I able to lie to the courts because my First Amendment rights say I have the right to petition the government for a redress of grievances? The answer is no. None of those. The Constitution is not to allow people to get away with crime. Because if you take away someone else's rights to freedom of speech with your freedom of speech, you're committing a crime. You can't use freedom of speech to deny others their equal protection of freedom of speech. <clears throat> and so bullying, terrorizing, trolling is illegal. And likewise is any church who commits crime. You're breaking the law. The religious version of a constitution is called scripture. It's a written document upon which is called the law for which all leaders and followers of the documents, scriptures, are to adhere to and guide and govern themselves. Church leaders are in position such that if members do not adhere to the written constitution of scripture, called canon, they would be removed from the organization excommunicated, anathematized. That is the system set up in religion. And so James Huntsman said, now I'm, you're not adhering to the constitution of Mormon scripture, I'm out. It's that simple. Likewise, the 13 million, plus or minus, Mormons who have left the church and just stopped going because the church leaders have come out and confessed to lying 
and have come out and claimed many false accusations against our founder, Joseph Smith, for which they claim, well, he's the founder, he has the religious right to commit these crimes that we are accusing him of. And so, yeah, many people are saying, no, you're violating scripture canon, the constitution of Mormonism, we're out. And it's sad that they don't want to know the truth to find out that Joseph Smith was indeed framed, lied to about by Brigham Young and everybody who followed him. <clears throat> because they had been in the church believing that it was true, going to church, going to seminary, going to institute, probably going to BYU, Ricks, or another church controlled school here in Utah, going on missions, getting sealed in the temple, etc. But then finally break when the church has violated scripture, canon, constitution. Another thing that is being played out is perpetual lies by the church and by the church lawyers. In our scripture canon of church history, Joseph Smith said he received gold plates. It's also that way in the Joseph Smith papers. Gold. So where did Golden come from? That's because there were metallurgists who said that according to the dimensions given of the plates, they would have weighed, in gold, about 200 pounds. And so apologists stepped forward and said, Oh, no, no, Golden. Oops. Because what they've done is not only denied scripture canon, the literal word of the true and one and only God of Mormonism. They've now created other problems. One, why isn't it changed to golden if it's supposed to be corrected? It's not being changed. Two, it's being used by the church lawyers who replied to James Huntsman just not acknowledging gold when he said that that's what he left the church for, but the lawyers just simply countered with golden in reference. They didn't correct them, they just said it golden. What that does in the courts and to the people is that the church is lying and covering something up. Because with golden, they think that they're helping the church by making it sound more reasonable than an angelic visitor from beyond the grave who lived here in America actually did visit Joseph Smith. You see how that works? But the canon is that Nephi came to Joseph Smith, not Moroni, and eventually gave him gold plates in Egyptian. That's the canon. That's the constitution of scripture. It's not Moroni gave golden plates. There's a church primary hymn 
about the golden plates lay hidden deep in the mountainside. The church is now teaching this lie because golden plates could allow for copper, which copper is much lighter and would be easily carried by Joseph Smith. That's not the point of the scripture as given to us, if you've been watching my other videos. And so, what the church is doing is exposing out in the open that they're lying to us, that they're purposely deceiving us, that they're allowing these apologetic groups to now change and alter scripture canon without actually changing and altering scripture canon. It's becoming an oral traditional change on the written word of God. Hmm, wow. wonder if there's any other oral traditions of Mormonism that are rewriting scriptural canon, such as Moroni chapter 10 verses 4 and 5. <clears throat> and so the question that the remaining three million Mormons have to answer is are they okay with creating whatever story they want regardless of the written canon that the prophets refuse to change And I'm willing to bet there's some prophets who are spreading this oral tradition. Let's take a quick Google search look, as Google search has been the means of destroying the church, losing the 13 million. <clears throat> LDS prophet golden plates. Golden Plates in Wikipedia, the Book of Mormon itself portrays the Golden Plates as a historical record. <laughs> but here we have history.churchofjesuschrist.org. Joseph Smith translates the Gold Plates. Oops, the lawyers are in jeopardy of lying to the courts in the James Huntsman case. Uh-oh. Churchofjesuschrist.org Gospel Topics Gold Plates Well, wait a minute. Ah. There's also Joseph Smith translated the writings on the golden. Oops. Here we go. This is the Gospel Topic Essays, isn't it? Nope, it's just the Gospel Topics book. Okay. So it has a little picture, and it's supposedly plates, and they're blank. <laughs> and then it has gold plates. And they don't really look gold. They look more golden. <laughs> Overview. Plates of gold upon which the ancient American prophet Mormon abridged the record of his people. Joseph Smith translated the writings on the golden plates. Oops. Into what became the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. So there you go. The church's own website under gospel topics, gold plates. And they merge gold and golden together as if they're one and the same. No, they're not. As we all know, different metals weigh different amounts. And so if it's gold plates, it's 200 pounds. If it's some other plate, it'll weigh a different amount. So, uh, there you have it. The church is outright lying to us. 
and are purposely causing confusion on the matter as to whether it's cold or golden. And you may think, no, that doesn't seem like a big deal. Well, it is. It's huge. Because the church is trying to convince people by diversion that the whole church history is real church history. Ex-Mormons, those who don't go back to church, left because the church had lied. If the church is lying to us, they're violating scripture canon, our constitution. The liar shall be thrust down to hell. Thou shalt not lie. Bear false witness. It's real simple. And our prophets are spreading lies. This is just one of them. See, for me, it was finding out that Brigham Young was a mass murderer. That was my, I'm out. I'm not going to ever back. You know, the bishop extorted my church attendance, and I will not be extorted. But I'm never going back if I have another bishop or go to another ward with another bishop who welcomes me. I, I can't. I can't go to a church where the leaders of the church are mass murderers. Because then I also found out that, oh, yes, our current and Monson ordered and paid for my assassination. They, the full prophets of the First Presidency and Quorum of the Twelve, make those decisions in expenditures for the church. It's not some financial guy who does it independently of the prophets. The prophets are the ones who tell people how they want their money to be spent. It was all of them who ordered and paid for my assassination, which, thank God, it failed so far. So far, they've now included you in their ordering and paying for all of our assassinations. If you hadn't been paying attention, we're being exterminated, we're out of water, we're out of food, our air, soil, and water are polluted, there's a pandemic that nobody wants to stop, which was also prophesied in Scripture, 45-31. In our scripture canon, the Constitution. And so, the church is in a dire predicament beyond what you realize. As the three million Mormons are going along with changing the church, tossing it to and fro like a boat in the water. It's not going to survive long. It's crashing. Like I said, 13 million are already gone, and more will occur for next year. Yeah, next year. We're still in this year. Each April, they, well, they no longer do it in conference. They wait until everybody's forgotten and then secretly release the membership stats. And it's important to remember that as canon, as a constitutional scripture for a religion, that it must be translated correctly. That if other scriptures are to be put in, you've got to keep them in. You can't just take them out because you're going to now change the religion on the members. 1921, the church took out the doctrine from the Doctrine and Covenants. Huh. 
Well, a reason for that is they were no longer following that doctrine. The lectures on faith. They now were becoming evangelical Mormons when they reincorporated in 1923. So yeah, they had to remove the doctrine because it was not in harmony with evangelical Mormonism. <clears throat> so, think about that, guys. Is Joseph Smith the founder or are we another church altogether? The prophets are saying we're a completely different church. We're hinge pointing. This is not the church of Joseph Smith. Yeah, it's the church of Russell M. Nelson. But he decides to call himself Jesus to deceive Mormons. Because Jesus isn't mad about the nicknames. That was to remove the Google search by some guy who had a website once <laughs> who had all these pictures <laughs> that were all over the Google search images. <laughs> Church didn't like that, so they bought out the guy's website company <laughs> had him shut down and then tried to further assassinate him. So, think about that. Do Mormons think the church is true? Well, which church are you talking about? Which church? The canon scripture church of Joseph Smith? Or the one that's been changed to? Because we don't have the exact church. Even the canon has been altered over time. Section 132 was put in and replaced Joseph Smith's chapter on monogamy. Gutted section 131 so that 132 could now make more sense. Can't talk to a single couple, man and a woman, and say, hey, you guys are going to get exaltation by being sealed in the temple. Nope. If you're going to push polygamy, you've got to get rid of that. And they did. Brigham Young did. The year before he died. We do not have the original Book of Mormon. We do not have the original Doctrine and Covenants. We do not have the real church history. It's available to us, but it's not canon. It's not the official scripture constitution for the church and as a result Mormons don't acknowledge the Joseph Smith papers as official so choose ye this day whom you are a member of 